what was the objective when you first started the band? Like, did you know it's going to go up to 30 albums? Uh, uh, is it, is it not, not really. I mean, for me, the objective was, at first when I started the band, was how nice if I could make one record, single or EP, then I got 30 there. Then my second one was, how if I get one award? I got about 15 hanging on my wall. Yep. These were all my dreams, yep. those days. Yeah. And I never knew I would get so many awards and so many albums. And a Dato' Ship? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I had so many bands. My first band was Super Jets. Second band was The Beats. That's the Flower Power yeah, the beat, Beats, 69. Yeah. That is when I saw the potential of three guys from The Beats and four guys from The LA Cats. How if we team up? All these guys are serious about music. That's when we formed up. That was the original LA Cats. And that year when you discovered this, this uh, you know, you're going to be in a band and you quit school that year, in, how was the scene like in Penang? Because you're from Penang, right? Yes, that was 68. Anyone of you were born there? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, was, I was born in 81, that time your album Alicats 4 was released. Oh, already 4? Yeah, 4. 68. The scene in Penang was, I would say, very superb. Nice, serene, quiet, peaceful and all waiting to go to the club at night. Just be waiting, you know? Yeah. We had a lot of good bands in playing. I mean, local music. So we all planned. Today we shall go here, go there. You know, it was like exciting. At that time, very few foreign bands. And even if you see the bands like nowadays, they come all programmed. Like those days, no, everything has to be live. Live. Yeah. You make mistakes also, live. Yeah. And People appreciate when you make mistakes. Yeah. That means you are not lying. You're human. Yeah. You're human. The 60s, 70s, we enjoyed ourselves. So when we were in Hong Kong, so the producer used to come down, M. Nazi used to come down, yeah. and then we used this uh, Hong Kong studio. It's called Dragon Studio. So we, all we knew was we record our albums in, in Bahasa and then the producer will take back the master tape. Those days the master tape, analog. Just take back to KL, then they'll make it into vinyl and sell. Cassette, cartridge. Okay, yeah, cartridge is the old one, yeah, yeah. yeah. At that time, we were doing something like two albums a year. Two albums a year, that's a lot of work in a year, especially even also playing in the clubs, like, yeah. how did it work? How do you uh, make music? We, we usually, we go to the studio after work. After work would be late at night? Yeah, about 2 o'clock in the morning. AM, okay, AM. all right. Because yeah. that's when we are fresh. Yeah. We just finish work and vocal-wise, just throat just open up. Yeah. So you go to the studio and it's easy for you to sing. Yeah. Instead of in the morning you go, you have to struggle. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you guys didn't sleep? You slept early in the morning? Uh, very seldom la, sleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when we were in Singapore, the whole game was changed. Because when we were in Singapore, there was this record company manager. He liked what he saw. Okay. He said, well, why don't you guys try to do an album? What he did was in English, yeah. the album. It's just called Alley Cats. Alley Cats, okay. But didn't go well. Yeah. It was selling, but not as good as what they expected, you see? Okay. And that's when the, the manager of the recording company asked us, why don't you guys try to sing in Bahasa? Okay. Uh, that was where the ball started changing. Yes. So why not? No harm one. You know, I'm singing, I'm a Tamil, yeah. singing English songs. Yeah. So what's wrong in singing Malay songs? So we did one Malay album in Singapore. The first Malay album, Terima Kasih, and it was a successful album. If I'm not mistaken, Jamal Abdel took the song Senandong Semalam from the album. Senandong Semalam, yeah? He won the uh, Bintang LTM. He won Bintang LTM with your song? Yeah. Senandong Semalam 
how did you find out that you guys were popular in Malaysia? When did you find that out? When it was, I don't know, in 82 or when guy from Malaysia came down to Hong Kong. 